I actually think I've lost it. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video by Lizzie Love It. It is indeed me again. Are you ready for this video? Because I am so excited to bring this to you guys because obviously it's an episode three of my ski season recommendation sort of videos. This is the final one guys, but don't you fret. I think I'm gonna make another video because it's gonna be separate from these, this series of videos. It's gonna be, sorry, I'm out of breath already. Woo! It's gonna be separate from these videos because I was thinking I'm gonna stick with this video being quite simple and putting like pictures up here of like what sort of I recommend gear wise. So this is gonna be, by the title you can see this guys, it's very straightforward. It is what to wear when you're skiing or snowboarding. Thinking of doing like a, like a clothing haul kind of thing, like a clothing, like I don't know what to call it, like show you what I've got that I haven't even worn, my recommended like pieces, the things that we've made rookie errors on buying that are so not worth it. Kind of like showing you what we have and if it whether or not it fits still. Yeah, I'd be really interested. So I thought I'd keep that video to a separate video. So this video is just predominantly, is it predominantly? Predominantly, predominantly, predominantly. What is that? I don't know. But yeah, it is just a video on me recommending to you guys. You don't have to like take everything I say, like, you know, and be like, yes, I've got to get that, got to have that, got to do that, just because I've said it. But if you really do need help with these kind of things, because I know it's really scary, you're probably doing ski season or you're thinking about it, you're like, wait, what do I need to take gear wise? Like, if I'm skiing or snowboarding, like, what, what gear do I need to take, you know? So let's get on to this. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just so I remember these because I'm gonna definitely forget. Number one, obviously, you have got to have a ski jacket. Like, you can't do a ski season without a ski jacket. Like, you only probably need one. Like, personally, I like to stick two just because I like to, you know, jazz it up a little bit occasionally and change it up. But you just need one. Like, more than one, you don't need. And that could be, you can research these things. Go onto Google, research ski jackets, and it'll come up with like, ski jackets. Don't spend loads of money, though. I think the most I've ever spent on a ski jacket is, like, £70. I know that sounds like a lot, but actually, for a ski jacket, that is not a lot. Because you want it to be waterproof. You want it to be, like, um like splash proof, is it splash proof? Like you want it to not be getting wet when you're wearing it because you're on the slopes, it might snow, it might rain, like the, you're gonna be getting snow flicked at you and thrown at you, no? You want it to be good quality. You also want it to be warm. So make sure you get a warm and waterproof, just a good quality jacket. Second to the most important thing is salopettes. Like I can't emphasize enough, salopettes are a type, if you don't know what they are, they're basically what you wear on your legs when you're skiing or snowboarding. They are waterproof, they are warm. Hello? You are right. Oh, I've been to Audi already as well. <laughs> okay. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. Let's carry on. I say, like, what I was saying guys, sorry about this. Yes, salopettes are what you wear on your legs that keep you from getting cold, they're gonna keep you warm, and they're gonna be waterproof. So again, another good quality, like salopettes, you don't wanna go for cheap, shitty ones, trust me. And they can be any color you want, really. You can get ones with braces, or you can get just the simple salopettes, or you could even go for an all-in-one and a jacket, or you can just go for the all-in-one. All-in-ones are really cool and retro, but they're really expensive, so don't waste too much money if you're on a budget, you know what I mean? Number three, we want to get some good gloves. We want good quality, warm and waterproof gloves when you're doing a ski season. Like if you're on those slopes, you, your hands are gonna be, oh, feet and hands. If your feet and hands are cold, it's just rubbish, isn't it? You're gonna be cold everywhere else. It's just a known fact. Like you want to make sure you got warm hands. Like you think now, ah, whatever. Like my hands are never cold, but on a mountain, trust me, if you're falling off your board, you're falling off your skis, or you're just sat on a like, um, one of the chair, what are they, chair lifts, that was it, chair lifts, you're gonna be cold, so make sure they're waterproof and warm, good quality gloves is so important. I'll pop some links down below for like things that I recommend or maybe that I've got, but definitely search, do your research, find a good pair of gloves. Another thing is underlayers. These are so underrated. Underlayers are so important. Like, you could just wear sports gear, like if you're a gym fanatic and you've already got like gym leggings, gym sweat t-shirts, like kind of things, like like you know that material, I can't remember what it's called, I don't know what the material's called, but you know what I mean, the gym material, sports bras, like 
wear a sports bra, oh, girls, don't be wearing bras. If you've got big boobs like me, Babylons are so uncomfortable and so bad on your back. Wear a sports bra when you're on those slopes. Trust me, it'll do you wonders. And yeah, so underlayers are so important. You can even buy cheap underlayers from like Primark online. You can go anywhere. Like I'm sure like H&M does like underlayers. There's everywhere. Topshop, I'm sure at one point did. There are so many places you can find underlayers for really cheap. So if you're just looking for underlayers specifically, go for those like anywhere, search online. Um, but if not, just take your regular old gym gears that you've got. Like if you've got gym leggings and gym t-shirts and obviously sports bras, girls, like just wear those underneath. Wear as many layers as you want because another thing I was gonna suggest is always take a backpack when you go on the slopes and you're skiing or boarding, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so, I would suggest taking a backpack as well because if you are wearing loads of layers and underlayers, at least you can take them off and pop them in your backpack. There we go, that's a trick I learned. At least you'll be able to be warm, but if you're hot, you can take your layers off. You can never put layers on if you're half, like, I don't know, if you might be miles and miles away on the mountain and there's no way to, like, you're gonna get back fast and you're frozen. You want to know that you're warm. At least if you've got more layers, it's better than not having enough layers and you can put them in your bag. Another thing, especially if you're a snowboarder like me, it is so important to have like padding, like pads. So knee pads, I find, are so crucial for me. You can also buy like back pads, um, bum pads. You got elbow pads. You can even buy like pads for your wrists and stuff. Like you don't have to do that extreme always, but if you're really worried about hurting yourself, then wear it all. You know what I mean? It's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? I always wear knee pads most of the time because I always fall on my knees as a snowboarder. Like I kind of, I don't know, I just gravitate if I'm falling forwards. I go straight to my knees um or if i feel like i'm losing balance i fall to my knees before i can actually hurt myself so pads again is really important you can get those anywhere like i got my knee pads and like bum pads and that i got them all from sports direct i think you can get them anywhere <laughs> search it search 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 i always say this like you don't need a genius to be able to say this is where you find it or like if you can't find it this is where you find it honestly it's common sense and it is just google can show you if you know somebody, ask them. Like, you don't need some, like, miraculous person to tell you exactly where to get things or what to get, you know? I would say this is crucial. One of the most crucial things people don't think of always is goggles. Like, they think, yes, I've got the jacket, I've got the salad pets, I've got all that. But you don't have your goggles. Like, what if you're in, like, some whiteout? They call it a whiteout or, um, like, a blizzard. I don't know. Like, they call them weird names. But if basically it's white outside and all you can see is like your hand in front of you, you can't see any further, or it's really cold and it's snowing like loads. You're not gonna be able to see unless you have a good pair of goggles. Like I didn't have good goggles for a while. I think I paid like 30 pound or 25 pound or something from Sports Direct, like some really cheap ones that they did me for like a good holiday. But for a ski season, you don't want a cheap pair of goggles. Like I would suggest going online or going to some place that scalps. Ugh sorry sells these type of things like if you live in my area there's like a few places you can go to make sure you get a good pair of goggles because your eyes will be frozen it's like in um the griswolds christmas vacation the griswolds and she, like, her eyes are frozen she's <laughs> i would always suggest another thing is taking a good pair of sunglasses or just some sunglasses on the slopes of you because don't take expensive ones because if you fall on them or you break them on your eyes you'll be really devastated but Take a pair of sunglasses because it can be really bright when you're up those mountains. So it's a really clear day, like, and you're up there and the sun's out and the blue skies are out. You want to, like, put your sunnies on when you're on your skis or you're boarding, you know? Again, you don't actually need to take your own skis or snowboard or, like, boots that attach to them. Like, you don't actually have to take any of that or your binders. They will provide that usually the company, but if you want your own equipment, I suggest taking it if you're more comfortable with it or if you've already got your own equipment, take it with you. It's only, like, I don't know, 50 pound extra to take it with you or they pay for that don't they i can't remember you might have to pay for that i don't know but it honestly it's more comfortable if you're taking your own gear that you already have but if you don't have your gear i wouldn't waste your time buying some because they'll provide it most likely for you anyway so don't like bother taking skis or snowboard because they'll probably provide that for you anyway so don't waste your money ski slash snowboarding socks you do actually get different like long socks for both of them so you have either they do them differently because obviously snowboarding and skiing they are different boots and snowboarding boots are actually comfier than ski boots mostly most likely or most of the time like personally for me anyway they are more comfortable snowboarding boots but making sure you have the right 
socks for your boots trust me you will need the right socks you don't want some just everyday socks like trainer socks or even the over the what is it ankle socks like you want proper socks they want to come like just below your knee socks because you don't want rubbing you don't want blisters you don't want to feel cold you don't want like yeah there's just a whole load of things you don't want by having rubbish socks with your equipment you can buy them anywhere basically sports direct i would highly recommend do stuff like that i'd rather have more than less when it comes to socks it's like knickers and bras you don't want like just one pair do you another one another one bags of dust another one another one another one bags of dust <sighs> a buff do you know what those are guys i'll pop a picture here or here and i will show you what a buff is they call them so many different things you a snood or a buff or a there's another one yeah, there's another name for it. But one of those is so good because your neck, if your neck gets cold again, it's like your hands and feet, it's just a no-go. You want to feel warm when you're out there. So a buff, a snood, whatever you want to call it, one of those, get invested in one of those because they're so good. You can also get the ones that are like, go over your head and then you've got your helmet. I don't know what they're called. Baklava? Is it a baklava? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, one of those is really good. Um, I'd highly recommend you don't spend loads of money on one of those. Um, and again, when I mentioned the helmet, it's another crucial thing. I think it's mandatory now to have a helmet when you're on the slopes. So buy your own helmet. I don't think they'll provide those. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But it'd be better to buy your own helmet. You don't want someone else's skanky helmet on your head. Like, nah, not for me personally. So buy yourself a helmet. They can be really cheap. I think they vary in prices, but I think I paid on my newest one, like 50 pound. My one before that was like 25 pound. So buy yourself a comfortable helmet with like ear pads that keep your ears warm and that protects your head because your head is one of the most important parts of your body. It's like there's that celebrity. She had a ski accident. She hit her head. I can't remember her name, but it happened years back ago. Like she hit her head. They thought she was fine in the hospital. A few days later, she died because of something that went wrong where she had hit her head. So please, please, please wear a helmet because it protects your brain. It protects your skull. It protects your whole fabulous face, head, whatever. Like obviously not this part because you know, but it protects all your head. You know what I mean? Protect that head. It's important. Wear a helmet. Take a helmet. Next one. Um, um, um. Take a hat. Like when you're on the slopes, you you stop off for a beer or a drink or a snack, whatever it is. You want to take your helmet off. Maybe your hair looks like crap. Put a hat on. It's good to take a hat, like a nice bubble hat, a nice woolly hat. Take a hat with you because it's always handy. If you get your backpack, you can store it all in there, you know what I mean? And a water bottle on the mountains. Obviously, that's just common sense, isn't it? I'm not going to tell you to take water with you. Lip protector and sun cream. This is so underrated. I don't get it. Like People come back with goggle marks like where their face is red and then their eyes are just, yeah. You know what I mean? You see these people. It's important to keep your lips lips protected because they get cracked and busted and it's just not pleasant and then for ages we're trying to recover like with those chipped badass lips you know what i mean take a lot of lip protector you can buy proper stuff um from like ski shops and stuff so buy a good lip protector and take sun cream for your face moisturize your face sun cream your face so important if you want to keep those wrinkles away you know what i mean you don't want to damage that skin because you've only got one skin and you don't want to like treat it badly. I think on that note, I've said everything that I would recommend taking for the slopes. I don't think there's anything I've forgotten. But if I have, I'm, I'm going to be so annoyed. Like, obviously, there's probably a lot more things that I haven't touched upon, I haven't said or recommended. But obviously, it's common sense, you guys. You will know, like... When it comes down to it, you're going to take the right things. I'm sure you are. And if you don't, if you forget something, I'm sure you can buy it when you're out there. It's just cheaper and more convenient if you do it beforehand. You know what I mean? But it's not the end of the world. So I hope I've like said everything. I really do. Oh, there's nothing I've forgotten. But I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this video, guys. I love, love, love these type of videos. Like, I just love suggesting these things. For you. I love telling you guys what I know and giving my knowledge to you guys. You know what I mean? It might be shit to you guys or you might hate it. Or it might be like, oh, shut up, Lizzie. But I'm here and 
I've experienced it. I thought I'd just share it with you guys. I love creating these videos. So if you enjoy this video, guys, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below because, you know, that really helps me. And you can watch more of my videos and all that fun stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said before at the beginning, I'm hoping to make another video showing you all my own equipment and gear. I'll go into depth where I got it from, what I've got, well, what I remember anyway, where I got it from. But yeah, I'm gonna make a whole other video, but I think it's gonna be separate like from the series sort of video. But yeah, if you haven't checked out the other videos, I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out down below, you know, click on those little links on my description or go to my channel, they're all on there. Thank you so much. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I love you all so much. Have a lovely day, evening, whatever it is. And I hope this has helped you figure out what to take gear wise and hope you enjoyed all my episodes. So until next time, thanks guys. Bye.